We all know the metaphor around the chicken or the egg. If the very first chicken hatched from an egg, then who laid that egg? Another chicken? Which came first? If you have a blog, you're probably wondering about something similar. Do I build up my traffic first or do I monetize my setup first? In this video, I'll share a simple framework for how you monetize your WordPress blog. It's a way to make it super fun and motivating to work on every single blog post. And that allowed me to quit my job and create content full time. So a blog is a wonderful thing. It teaches people something. It teaches you how to make content. And ultimately, it can be your ticket to freedom or an extra vacation. The way you make money from a blog is usually a combination of ads, affiliate income, courses, physical products, consulting, freelancing, and sponsored content. But some of these sources are more passive than others. Meaning you sell your hours instead of a product and that doesn't scale. My three income streams that I think all bloggers should start with or at least consider early on are ads, affiliate income and courses. Maybe you already use some of these three, but the power lies in the combination of these revenue streams. We'll come back to that. Let's start with ads. The usual setup is that you sign up to some ad network, install a plugin on your WordPress site and now this network starts to place ads inside your content. This all happens more or less automatically. The cool thing is that this requires zero extra work on your end. You just set it up and then you receive an amount of money each month based on the times your ads were shown. Now, if your blog traffic is low, so is your ad income. Makes sense. But I had around 10,000 visits to my niche site each month and that didn't even pay for hosting. If you use the very common ads program, Google AdSense, you can expect to earn between one and one and a half dollars per thousand impressions on your ads, depending on what you write about. This means that you need around a million impressions each month to make a thousand bucks. Also, a thing to consider with ads is that it messes with your site layout. Many bloggers don't care, but I think it's quite important to consider the user experience of visiting your blog. You want to not damage that feeling of expertise and trust that you're trying to build with your audience. There are nicer and more modern ways to place ads on your site than Google AdSense. G2 praises ad platforms like Ad Pushup, Monetize More, Ad Butler, and Ad Plug. A good place to learn about what ad network to choose and how to set that all up is a YouTube channel called Passive Income Geek, made by a fellow Dane named Morten Storgård. But in the end, I chose to remove ads from my own blog because I don't like to read blogs with ads myself. So what do you do? Affiliate links are better and a much cleaner way to monetize your WordPress blog. Here, you simply sign up for an affiliate program with a company you like. Your hosting provider is a popular place to start. And then you use a tracking link instead of a normal link every time you mention that hosting provider or whatever you choose to promote. For example, I blogged about tall men's clothing, so I would sign up to all their different affiliate programs, usually found at the bottom of their websites, and then use my tracking link to earn between 10 and 15% on every sale I referred. Today, my affiliate commission rates range between 5 and 30%, where the lower rates come from Amazon products and the higher ones come from enterprise software. What I love about affiliate links is that it doesn't mess with your content. It doesn't ruin your layout. It looks like a normal link and it is. It just has a little bit of tracking code that tells the seller that the sale came from you. It also doesn't cost extra for people to buy through your link instead of a normal one. You just get to keep a small cut of what the company makes from the sale, which is paid out to your PayPal or bank account. This is the simplest, most passive way to earn money from your blog and I recommend that you sign up for all the different affiliate programs that are relevant to the topic you blog about. Now that I teach people how to make educational content, I'm signed up for affiliate programs for animation tools and course hosting platforms. One cool thing that I learned from Chris Docker was to create a dedicated page that links to all your favorite tools. People want to know what you use and all those recommendations make me money if people choose to buy. Remember, only recommend things that you actually use and like. In 2017, after running my blog for a couple of years, I made around $900 per month from affiliate commissions, which was super awesome as a student, but it isn't enough to pay the bills later in life. 
So you might consider a third and also very passive way to monetize your WordPress blog. Courses. I heard one successful content creator say that she believes that all bloggers are teachers and that the next natural step for any blogger is to offer a course on their topic of interest. For example, if you blog about productivity, you could create a course on the app Notion and how to use that to plan your days better. The difference between ads, affiliate income, and then courses is that you sell your own thing, so you get to keep all the money yourself. No ad network, no affiliate partner, just you and your own digital product. Sure, this revenue stream does require a bit more work, but once your course is done, there isn't much work associated with maintaining it. I have a course on how to use an online animation tool, and I didn't have to update that for at least a couple of years after its first release. To begin with, the course sold for $97, so you can see how this revenue stream quickly matches affiliate income, in my case with just 10 sales per month. And if you already have a WordPress blog, you already have traffic to your site, you are very close to selling your first course. If you use a plugin like Learn-LMS, who's the sponsor of this video, you can add course hosting functionality to your existing WordPress site. This is cool because you don't have to learn, use, or pay for an extra dedicated course platform like Thinkific or Teachable to run your courses. You install Learn-LMS as you would with any other WordPress plugin, and now you've added all kinds of functionality around course creation, quizzes, memberships, and all that stuff you would expect from a separate course platform. But now it's within the WordPress backend that you know and love. To get the full tour through all the features and a step-by-step -step guide on how to build a course with LearnDash, I recommend watching Ferdy's amazing tutorial where he walks you through everything. LearnDash also has a fully hosted solution called LearnDash Cloud for the ones who don't have a WordPress site set up already. Either way, go check it out. It's clean and simple, easy to integrate with your existing content, and affordable if you're just testing the waters. There's a direct link below this video. So. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? I actually believe you should monetize first, then build up your traffic, because it almost becomes a gamified experience to create content once you see those first dollars in your affiliate dashboard or you see that first course sale. Start with affiliate links and a mini course, then you can add more revenue streams down the line to diversify your risk and build a more solid foundation under your online business. Thanks to LearnDash for making it easy for WordPress bloggers to monetize our knowledge and for sponsoring this video. If you're unsure on how to build a mini course, check out this video where I show you how to structure video lessons or check out that other one where I talk more about side hustles. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them as a comment below. Take care.